Welcome to Scotland, here in the northern part of Europe, where the coasts shelter a great many seabirds. They find their food in the ocean, and the cliffs provide them with an ideal spot for reproduction and nesting. And that's how it is for the gannet. Do you think it all looks very peaceful? <laughs> Just you wait. Here is the largest colony of European gannets. It's pretty impressive, right? This is the very beginning of spring. But before talking about spring, let's clear up one detail. They're called crazy gannets by some. Ah, but are they crazy? Well, not really. No, sailors used to call them crazy when they watched the birds fishing. To reach their prey, they would dive from a height of 50 meters at more than 100 kilometers an hour. But he's not crazy. No, he's out of his mind. But let's get back to the colony. It's spring, and there's lots of traffic jams with the gannets. Every couple has to make a nest, and there are thousands of them, and yet there is a strict military organization. Each couple is the proud possessor of a plot about one meter square where they can build their nest. But coming back from fishing, how do you find your own nest and mate? Easy. Gannets can recognize the voice of their partner among thousands of other voices. A little demonstration right now. Uh, yes, well, everybody makes mistakes. But for gannets, private property is no joke. It, it was just next door. When the lovebirds get back together, they reassure each other by rubbing beaks. Hey, it's, it's time for changing of the guard. The female laid only one egg that hatched into this, this thing covered with down. Sure, right now he's not much to look at. The little treasure must never remain uncovered, and since gannet couples are very united, they take turns covering while the other one fishes. Stretching out the neck means about to take off. But the seagull also understands this sign, so the transfer has to be quick and precise. The slightest mistake and the seagull is ready to pounce on the little one and eat him. He's no friend, that one. Wow, luckily the transfer went fine. And the other one can quietly fly off and go fishing. Our couple's neighbors weren't so lucky. One careless moment was enough. The foe, the seagull, grabbed the egg. And the parents did their best to defend it, but, well, it was too late. The seagull is, he's a mean customer. Fortunately, in a little while, the little ones will be out of danger and they'll be able to feed themselves and the whole colony of gannets will take off and fly out to sea and they'll be free to dive bomb the fish to their heart's content, like kamikaze pilots. Bye.